good town hall meeting in a way that uh, gives me the opportunity to have an understanding of how these Kansans are thinking about this. Issue. So what is Senator, you heard that known any bill that cuts Medicaid? I think the message is that this is an issue that is so important to so many people. Uh, it needs to be less politics and more policy, uh, and it's worthy of a national debate that includes uh, legislative hearings and amendments and debates and further further reflection and consideration before the final product is considered. Senator, are you a hard on any bill that cuts Medicaid? Um, I don't, I, I, what I would say is that the, the Medicaid is not, as I indicated in the town hall meeting, Medicaid is, except for the uh, extension part of Medicaid, is not really a part of uh, fixing the Affordable Care Act. And so we've coupled two things, uh, both of which are very difficult. And uh, again, I think Medicaid has significant value. Kansas is a place that has treated Medicaid payments very conservatively, uh, and if there's problems with people who are receiving Medicaid that shouldn't receive them, address that issue, but our health care providers and their patients uh, deserve a Medicaid system that actually pays the bills when they seek the service. Murkowski and Collins want to work specifically with the Democrats. We don't say that. You comprise what you learned on the pre existing conditions that it was tied to the essential benefits? Uh, no, I didn't come up with the right word in answering that question. I talked about the cap instead of the essential benefits. But that's been a concern that I've heard many times about uh, the promise of providing uh, coverage for pre existing condition. Uh, and I think the Senate bill uh, addresses pre existing condition. But the concern is it could be taken away uh, by decisions of state legislature. Did you ever figure when you were at Plainville High School 45 years ago that you'd have this gaggle of media from the national, I even see international media here, that these people would be coming after you today? Uh, Larry, when I was a, a student in uh, Plain, at Plainville High School, a trip to Palco was a big deal, and I didn't expect to be greeted by anybody except the folks at the cafe and the donut shop. Collins and Murkowski are openly calling for negotiations to work with Democrats. You, you don't like the divide, but you don't specifically call for that to happen. Uh, I mean, what I've said uh, for months is uh, there ought to be uh, committee hearings that involve Democrats and Republicans on those committees. Uh, every senator, when I say every senator, that, that's implied every Republican and every Democrat senator has the opportunity to offer amendments, take votes, and uh, then bring a bill to the floor. Do you still favor yeah, repeal of ACA, ACA or do you think we can, uh, we can I be think, fixed? Can it be I fixed? think the Affordable Care Act uh, creates uh, enough different, uh, let me say different, enough difficulties. The Affordable Care Act creates significant difficulties that still need major attention. Uh, but I think at this point, it's time to figure out how we, I hate to be on camera with sweat running into my eyes, <laughs> how we figure out how to get rid of the bad things and improve on the things that need to be improved. So, 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 so,